Uh, what I want to do today is show you uh, the Torquedo Deep Blue 40 horsepower electric outboard motor. This is an entirely electric system, uh, no uh, combustion fuel at all, no gen set. So it's, it's basically a plug-in boat. Uh, the motor comes in two power levels. It's a 40 horsepower with a single high voltage battery. And if I add additional high voltage batteries, the power increases to 80 horsepower. Uh, these motors also come in an inboard configuration, which we're going to show you later. Uh, the outboard is, uh, is both in a standard shaft and a, and a long shaft length. So what we've got it here is on a 23-foot uh, Calypso Classic skiff. Uh, the boat weighs about 2,000 pounds as raked, and we're going to take you out and show you how it performs. So th these motors uh, uh, have a wide variety of applications, uh, certainly for any place uh, with, uh, with restrictions on combustion uh, motors, uh, which is becoming more and more popular, already very popular in Europe. Um, but also uh, in the commercial market, someone who uses their boat on a daily basis, uh, especially to make money, EcoTour, uh, Nearshore Fisherman, uh, something like a Harbor Master application, somebody who's out in the boat uh, almost every day, yet doesn't have to tr uh, travel tremendous distances or go tremendous speeds, uh, all of the Torquedo products make, uh, make great choices. Um, uh, the maintenance is practically eliminated uh, with these electric motor systems. Of course, this is an outboard, so I do have some, some lower gear case oil and I have an impeller, but uh, that is really the extent of your, your regular maintenance duties. So you compare that with a gas outboard uh, with all the things that have to happen on an annual basis and you can really save some money. Uh, the other things are operational costs. So really, uh, my operational costs uh, for an electric motor consider uh, uh, all I have to consider is really the recharge cost. Uh, on this large battery, this is a 13 kilowatt hour battery, and my recharge uh, with a typical Florida uh, electricity rate of about 10 cents a kilowatt hour is less than $1.50 per battery. So I could run this boat uh, perhaps three, four hours a day, and uh, my expense is $1.50, and that's included in a lot of your, uh, a lot of your storage or, or slip fees anyway, so that cost really goes away. Uh, the warranty on this battery is something worth, worth mentioning. This is a nine-year capacity warranty. So uh, after nine years, I'm going to have 80% useful capacity left in the battery. So we're going to increase the power level a little bit. Right now, I'm, I'm running at a, a slow idle, uh, uh, just about two kilowatts. Uh, and we're going to just run up uh, to planing speed very quickly. So you can tell the, uh, the motor is quite powerful. Uh, electric motors do develop power a little bit differently than an uh, internal combustion motor. The torque is available from one RPM. So I've, I've, uh, and, and beyond that, I can, I can control the, uh, the RPM down very low, much lower than an internal combustion could ever go. Uh, that, that allows you to, uh, to maneuver uh, with ease, uh, especially if we're talking about a heavy work boat or perhaps a, a large EcoTour platform. Right, so we're going to accelerate one more time, uh, and I want to point out that the motor has a boost mode. So when you do the whole shot, uh, you're actually going to pull more than the rated power for a few seconds, and then it's going to throttle back uh, as it achieves plane. Here we go. It's not bad. It jumps on plane very quickly, and then it throttles back to a, uh, to a constant rate, and uh, in this case, it's 28 kilowatts. So in addition to the Deep Blue 40 electric outboard we just showed you outside on the Calypso Classic Skiff, uh, we've got the inboard product uh, inside the show here. This comes in the same two power levels. Uh, 40 horsepower is one battery. Uh, two to four batteries makes it an 80 horsepower. It's the same uh, uh, brushless uh, uh, permanent magnet motor. Uh, it's a uh, bell housing with a uh, planetary reduction gear uh, and a coupling. This is designed to replace uh, a diesel inboard, uh, anywhere from 40 to 80 horsepower. It's designed to be used in uh, the, uh, the uh, catamaran sailing market in a hybrid configuration with diesel gen sets uh, as a charge source, solar panel input, uh, shore power charging, of course, and most importantly, regeneration under sail. So as the sailboat hits about seven knots and, and faster, we're getting some good regeneration from those props spinning the motors putting battery capacity uh, back into the system. And over here, I just want to show you the size of the battery. This is one 345-volt uh, high-voltage uh, battery 
Uh, the system needs, uh, again, between one and four of these batteries. The weight is 330 pounds uh, per battery, uh, and they're manufactured by Johnson Controls in Michigan, come with a nine-year capacity warranty.